Hello and welcome to this presentation showing the capabilities of Fusion 360 Manage. This presentation forms part of process and ERP management. It is a key element for a fully digitized environment. In this session, we will be looking at several processes ranging from on-site inspection through to an actual design change, all controlled and data captured by Fusion 360 Manage. Fusion 360 Manage has a number of elements that we will see today. Workspaces where the actual data is captured. Workflows to control how the data is communicated and processed. And finally, the live reporting dashboard to understand how and where a process is progressing. We will see how a number of different users interact with Fusion 360 Manage. These range from an on-site inspector through to a company director. Each user has different roles and responsibilities. So we start with um, uh, an on-site inspection or maintenance. So we have an on-site inspector using an iPad and he's now logging into Fusion 360 Manage. Once here, it takes him straight into his dashboard. Within the dashboard, he can now access his required workspaces. And in this case, we're going to go to the quality and we'll go to the field failures. Once in the field failures, we'll start a new report. So the first thing you can see is there's various fields to be filled in. So things like inspection method and who the supplier was, if it was a third party. In this case, it's an as in-house built part. And once we've done that, we can actually select the failing item. So you can search with Infusion Lifecycle or pick the appropriate item. So this will link it back to the part and we can choose an image and put a better description on. So this could be a photo that's been taken on site and that'll add some gravitas to the, to the report itself. Once that's done, we'll create the report. Now we can add any attachments. This is any support and information that will be required for whoever reviews this to actually look. So in this case, we're going to have a, another photo, but this is the highlighted um, part that's been bent or broken. So once that's uploaded, that becomes part of the report and we can view that image to double check that it's okay. Fusion Lifecycle can view many different types of file. In this case, it's an image, but it could be a CAD model. It could be um, any type of file itself. So now we'll look at the approval workflow. So this is the actual um, things required to actually transition this to actually get a decision. So we're going to actually notify now. So the notify will email the relevant team that maybe there needs to be something done to review this actual field failure. So you can see here the email has been sent and that's been sent to a different user. So they're now looking at this on their iPhone. And it's the manager this time. So it's the design office manager is going to be logging in using his iPhone. <clears throat> so we get the same dashboard on any type of, any type of um, viewer. So in this case, it's an iPhone, so it's slightly smaller, but it's exactly the same. So we'll go straight to the part, to the uh, to the record, and we can have a look at the at the images and also the attachments. So you can see here it's highlighted the bent part. So again, we'll go to the approval workflow, but this is um, the next step. And you can see here there's different different routes. So we're going to create a change request. So we're going to push this then through to um, 
the design office to say this part may need to be looked at um, in a bit more depth. So that change request has now been generated. So we'll go back to our details and you should be on the record we can see here. That the change request is on the record itself. So we can select that to take us straight to that new workspace. And in here we can now, as a different set of workflows, a different set of, of gates that need to be done. And in this case, we're going to submit this to the design department for them to further look at. The change request has now been generated and the appropriate email has been sent to the appropriate team. Here you can see the email being opened and uh, selected, which will take the uh, appropriate user straight into Fusion 360 Manage, which in this case is the actual design engineer. Once in Fusion, it takes them to their dashboard and you can see they can link straight to the change request. Again, some more fields can be updated to put some more information into this, why this, this request has happened. In this case, maybe a project number. And also some supporting information. The team has been pre-selected. And you can see here that the uh, failure report is already linked on this web workspace. Extra information can be added via attachments, the same as on the previous workspaces. This can be any supporting information. Once loaded, that can be viewed, in this case, on, an, on a laptop. You'll see that affected data has been already added. So the, uh, the appropriate bracket has already been linked to this change request as that was pulled through from the failure report. And you can see here, and we can look at attachments. In this case, we can look at the actual model itself, which you can measure and such like should you want to. Going back to the change orders, you can see this is linked, so we can select this. It takes us straight back to that change request. And in this case, we'll look at the approval workflow. So again, these are the steps required or the decision making process, which is different to the previous and can involve different people at each point as well. So we'll assume that this part has been reviewed. We're happy for this to go forward as part of a, a possible design review. And that's been completed. Back to the details tab. we can see that that has been approved and the new change order has already been generated and linked to this change request. So we're now in the change order. And again, we can add some extra information into here. Our affected items have already been pulled through as that's come through from the change request. And you can see it's going to be a revision change. So looking at the approval workflow, again, we have a different approval workflow here. So this is purely for a design change. And we're going to select to set this part to work in progress. So this is the part in Vault. So here we are now in Autodesk um, Vault Professional, and you can see the part has already been selected and moved to work in progress by Fusion Lifecycle. So the part is now going to be opened up in Autodesk Inventor and the suitable modifications made. Within Inventor, things like the um, FEA can be done to check the strength. In this case, we're just going to make a simple change. So we'll increase the thickness of this part. And we'll save this and we will check it back into Vault. Add a comment, because comments are viewable in Vault. Okay. 
Back in Vault, we can refresh this to bring the change through. And if we look at the history of this part, you can see here that the latest version has that comment. So we're up to version 22. So back to the cha state change, we're going to set this part for review, which will now communicate back with Fusion 360 Manage using the job processor and set this change order to review. Now it's at review, an email will be sent to the appropriate person who needs to review this change. So here we have the email. And again, this is for a different user. So we're back with maybe the department manager. So open this up in, on his laptop this time rather than the iPad. We can see that in his outstanding work, there is that change order. So we can select this and go and review the, uh, the changes. So on the affected items, we can select the part. And once again, double check that everything's okay. So we're happy with that and the approval workflow. We will now release this part, which will also release and lock the part in Vault as well. You can see the part is now locked. So maybe once a week, the uh, director will log into Fusion, not to actually um, participate in any of the actual um, life cycle or workflow decisions, but actually to, to look at um, analytics, in this case, the dashboard, which will then report on various different aspects of Fusion lifecycle. So here I was in his iPhone. And you can see here, this dashboard has lots of different um, reports and information available for different aspects of how the company is probably working. In this case, you can see here the field failures, and we can identify that maybe that lever, and then how many inspection reports, and crucially, maybe how many change orders are, are going through the system at that point, and also change requests. So the director himself can actually get all this information real time.